My husband and I just got back from a fantastic week-long Caribbean cruise on Virgin Voyage's Valiant Lady Ship. We made the decision to pre-purchase the add-on called Splash of Romance for a total of $200. But was it worth it? Hello, travelers, and welcome or welcome back to AGP Travel Planning. I'm a professional travel planner and love sharing my travel tips right here on this channel. If you want to see more about our week-long cruise on Virgin Voyage's Valiant Lady out of San Juan, Puerto Rico, to the southeastern Caribbean islands, then go check out that video. I'll link it in the description box below. The first thing you need to know about the Splash of Romance package is that it can and does sell out. And I'll explain why in a bit. But this is why if you do decide that you want the benefits of this add-on, it is so important to pre-purchase it for your Virgin Voyages cruise. As a gold tier Virgin Voyages travel advisor, I always bring this up to my clients right away as soon as they decide that they want to book a Virgin Voyages cruise. Because I think the perks that you get for this add-on are so worth the $200 you spend for it. And here's why. One of the perks included in the Splash of Romance package is priority boarding. Virgin Voyages has late embarkation times, so this is huge. You still won't be able to board at like 10 or 11 a.m. like you can on many of the other cruise lines, but you will be in that first group of people to board, like right after the rock stars, which, if you're new to Virgin, are people who have booked suites. We were able to board around 1.30, 1.45 p.m. out of San Juan with our splash of romance and just look at that massive line of people still waiting behind us. Another perk you will receive with the splash of romance package are these unique treats delivered to your room a few times throughout your cruise. These were macarons, chocolates, and gummy candies during our cruise. While these treats weren't our favorites, because they were kind of strange and adventurous flavors meant to stimulate the libido, adults only cruise here, people, it was still fun to have some snacks to try. The next perk is that you can get free pressed juices, which are normally an extra cost as they are upgraded drinks. We aren't huge into like the green juices and stuff, but we did enjoy the pressed Florida tangerine juice. It was super delicious. The only downside to this perk was that you had to walk up to the gym and tonic pool bar to retrieve these drinks yourself before like 11 a.m. or something to take advantage. Be sure to wear your splash of romance wristbands when you go to get these too so that the bartenders know that you will be getting them for free. The two best benefits of the Splash of Romance package I saved for last, and they are a three-hour pass to the thermal spa and one complimentary shake for champagne you can use anywhere on the ship. These two benefits right here are why I always recommend this add-on, because these two items purchased separately will cost more than the $200 you'll pay to have the Splash of Romance package. The thermal spa passes are like $80 per person on sea days and around $70 per person on port days. One shake for champagne costs $105. I can tell you the thermal spa is fantastic, especially if you book a time on a port day when probably most people will still be off ship, as then you can get the space practically to yourself. The hot rocks nearest the hot tub and the pool are the hottest ones, and so I recommend seeking those out if you can. My husband and I loved relaxing on these for about an hour, like we took a little nap here. Now I finally understand why lizards like to lay on hot rocks in the sun. They've got lots of towels in here um, and like infused water, um, sparkling water, still water. And you get a robe, and you get access to the sauna, the steam room, the salt room, the mud room, the hot tub, and there's a cold plunge. I do wish the little pool in the spa was a giant hot tub instead of just a small pool, but oh well. Oh, this is the mud room in here. And then let me get the salt room real quick. Oh. 
Smell salty. What you got there? Looks like chocolate milk. It looks like a frosty. It does look like a frosty. Alright. Like a frosty too. Alright, you're gonna mud yourself. <laughs> Maybe I'll need to help you. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's cold. Cold mud on your hot skin. It's like putting a frosty. <laughs> um, my last and Monday, I don't know, it smells nice, it's kind of a fun texture and I've massaged it into my skin. <laughs> um, and then you can just rinse it off right here, they have showers in this room that you can use. Pro tip guys. This shower is bigger than the shower in our cabin, so I intentionally waited to shower in here at the thermal spa. We used the shake for champagne on our last night at sea before returning to San Juan, and we felt very luxurious soaking on the top deck hot tubs while chilled champagne was delivered, opened, and poured for us. We enjoyed a few glasses and then gave the rest of the bottle to another couple who had also come to relax in the hot tub. <laughs> yes, please. Thank you. So for us, we really enjoyed the priority embarkation, the three hour thermal spa pass, and the shake for champagne. And for us, that made the pre-purchase of $200 totally worth it. Wearing the wristbands can be quite annoying though. So I do hope they come up with an alternative way of showing you purchased this package. We actually kept ours loose so that we could slip it on and off throughout the cruise and only have to wear it when we were seeking to use the benefits and could leave it off at all other times. I'm sure this is frowned upon, but having these ribbons dragging around when wet from swimming or accidentally dropping it in your food and drink at mealtimes was very off-putting. What do you think? Will you be purchasing a splash of romance for your next cruise? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below, and if you have any other questions about Virgin Voyages Adults Only Cruises, please ask them in the comments too so I can address the answers in my next video. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please click the thumbs up to give it a like, and consider subscribing to my channel for more travel content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.